morning, Manila. Rhymes with vanilla. What's going on? Yo, today's gonna be a sick day. First things first, right? Last night, I'm standing on my balcony. I'm like, yo, Manila's hella like dark outside. It's not a lot of light. I saw a lot of empty fields. I wake up, this was what the view actually was. That's water, son. How beautiful is this? And let's talk about this resort real quick. Are you kidding me? So this is why my heart's broken. Because my schedule does not allow for all of that. None of that can be experienced. I'm just like, sure. We'll talk about that in a second. Here's the mission for today. We're gonna wake up, get our hair braided. Safe to say that is done. Right now I got about an hour of press, I'm sorry, two hours of press, and then I got my boss book show, got a signed 200 posters, and my meet and greet, then I have to perform for YouTube Fan Fest, and then I leave at like five in the morning to Hong Kong. Aside from all of that, goal for today is I'm not here for very long, and it's saddening me because I've never been to the Philippines the first time, and I don't really get to experience it. So every spare chance I get, I'm gonna try to experience it somehow, some way. Let's talk about something real quick. You're on the edge of the balcony right now, so you might very well fall to your death. I'm gonna just leave you there for a second. I was just thinking you were kind of like, I'm so blessed to be on tour and I love it, but people ask me like, have you gone to these places? I'm like, yes, I've gone. Have I experienced it? No. And I'm so bummed, I can't like chill. Like, this looks sick. Maybe like after the show, I'll like beg them to let me jump in the pool or something at nighttime. I don't know, but I mean like, come on. This? So fine, it could be your lock screen. Ah, let's go do our makeup. I mean, I need to do my makeup. You can do whatever you want, really, but I'm, I'm gonna go do my makeup. Transform into makeup. All right, makeup done. This is the vibes. Wearing these funky pants, gold shoes, black shirt. Got my key. Got this jacket, black and gold vibes. Ah, ah. I just keep looking out the window, and I'm like, I'm gonna make time for you, baby. Baby, right there. Baby, I'm gonna make time for you. I'll make time for you. I swear. Mama's gotta do press. <laughs> Two amazing things are happening. Number one, I'm signing all of these posters. By the way, you can get them at all of my tour stops moving forward. They will be signed. So make sure you grab and bring some extra money to my shoe. You know what I'm saying? Get some posters. Look who's here. It's my sick sister. She's not in focus yet. Now she is. My sick sister. What's going on here? This is so cute. It's an arrow. I like it. Only person to notice it, of course. Alex Wasabi's here. Oh my gosh, I love your nails. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's an arrow. Yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna sign this dish. We're gonna have a good time. I'm so jealous. They're staying here for a day more. You get to explore an ish. Although yesterday they just went shopping. Yeah, we haven't done anything. I know we haven't done anything. I wish a handsome guy would sit beside me. Oh. What? Oh, you I know. Or handsome girl. Me right. It's a man present. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting really sleepy right now, so I'm like yeah. trying to keep my. Oh, yo, I need to do something to you guys. All this PDA, I love it. Okay, rapid fire questions, answer with the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? Up or down? Uh, 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 At the same time, you're gonna ask you. Uh, uh, right, left or right? Uh, Black or white? Uh, Negative. Okay. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Red or green? Green. green. High or low? High. Round or square? Round. Hot or cold? Cold. Oh, snap. We got some differences. Okay, blonde or black? Blonde. He's like, blonde. <laughs> YouTuber. Lil J Y. Favorite thing about Holly. Favorite thing about Holly. Everything about Lord. Everything about Lord. Everything. You pass. Favorite thing about Lily. Everything as well. Everything. Least favorite thing about Lily. Too hard working. Never have time to chill. The first word on your mind right now. Finger. <laughs> High fives. That was stressful. I'm that sweating. Was. <laughs> How are you sweating? You're not wearing clothes. I made a new friend. Her name is Rachel. Say hi. Say your name. She's like, I'm too busy styling and profiling. <laughs> Lloyd. I like your outfit. <laughs> Mikey, he's the host. He's gonna host. What's going on, yeah. Megan's here. It's gonna be sick. It's an honor for us to have Lily sing, aka Superwoman. Okay. Put your hands together for Superwoman. You did this, you did that. They're actually like, oh, how's your fat hand? Got sick last week. Or, um, or, or I don't know, how's your dog or something like that. They're, they're really, this is the interesting. When the teacher keeps so talking, you need to try to act like you're paying attention.
I had a cake made like Donald Trump, and the ants ate him, and that was my least popular videos. I try to walk this line between being myself, because I never want to have to put on a facade in front of the camera, because I would go crazy. I make videos so often. And there's three million people taking photos. <laughs> the face of defeat. <laughs> when you've given up. Okay, now, um... Me, me leaving the party. Basically, we had to go do interviews, but Kwale was in the food line, like... <laughs> Shamu, he would not make the free willy jump, right? <laughs> Managed to do it! I have an hour of downtime and I'm gonna enjoy it and live my best life. Aaron's your Aaron's actually from the Philippines. Your naked body? It's all good. That's Salama po. You know what that means? No. It means thank you. Oh. Salama. Salama. Can you spell it? S A L A M A T. What? Salama po. Oh, so cheer then. Salama po. And that means thank you. Salama po. Salama po. Ah! When Shamu gets back into his natural habitat, when Shamu escaped the aquarium, when Olaf decides to go swimming, when you drop your vanilla ice cream cone into the pool, when none of those clips were in focus because your glasses had water on them. <laughs> it's cold? Ooh, good. Are your nips getting hard? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Is that acceptable on your channel? Yes. <laughs> but I appreciate you asking. You want to be my thumbnail? Okay. I could be your thumbnail. Oh my god, I could be your thumbnail? New music! Free my boobs together, I can be your thumbnail. We should make a song like that. Like, get into a relationship. We can get that clickbait. <laughs> Ay, set, I give you that clickbait. You know I'm rocking my baby boo. in the Rock Johnson. The shirt, Under Armour. Respect, that's what's up. Also, I like that whole, I could be your thumbnail. Let's make a rap song. Lily, can you mix that up a little bit right now? And go! Ay, ay, we can get that clickbait. Ay, I can be your thumbnail. Set, I give you that clickbait. Ay, ay. Free my boobs together, I can be your thumbnail. Look at these two goddamn lovebirds. Yeah, stealing my friend. It's okay. I love him so much, so it's fine. We're on the water slide. Humble doesn't know how to swim, so I'm here to not save him, but to vlog. I could be your thumbnail. Oh, ah! That didn't look the safest. I'm not gonna lie. That did not look the safest. No oh, that, <laughs> that wall does not look safe. How was it? <laughs> That's what happens when brown people try to do leisure activities. That was very fast. Yo, I'm so happy we fit that in. I just walked into a door. This is the second time I walked into a door. What's wrong with me? I'm so happy we fit that in. I felt real, real good. Sometimes I look at things like this and I'm just like, I'm really goddamn blessed. Like water, I'm just gonna take in exactly what's happening right now as I see it. The water is sparkling so much. I look into the distance and there's mountains. There's a beautiful pool here. There's people having fun everywhere. There's so much greenery. And I'm just like, what did I do to deserve this? And I'm just like thinking in my brain, like a lot of people don't get to experience these things. And so like, I'm so goddamn grateful. Like I'm really, truly grateful. Thank you so much for allowing me to come to your beautiful countries around the world. Take in your beautiful culture and languages and foods and just like customs and it's freaking beautiful can we just take a moment I want you to pause as well I want you to, when I turn the camera just take a deep breath and just look into the scenery okay you ready just take a deep breath look at those sparkles that's better than any diamond that's better than any jewelry that's better than any double taps on Instagram right there that is real richness when you get to pause and be grateful and have gratitude for the small things in life and I know this is not a small thing in life being to the Philippines is a great honor but I'm saying like even the friends around you and the food you eat like pause and take those things legitimately don't take them for granted that's real richness you know what I mean and go shower now get ready for my show but yo feeling all types of grateful and take some selfies too not that the double taps are important but but you know what up, yo? About to do a boss book show. 200 people, my smallest show. Show number 22. Philippines, Manila, Manila rhymes with vanilla. First time I'm ever performing here. I am so excited. I get to perform twice today. We're gonna be lit, fam, and my homeboys here. Support me. You ready? Show 22. Whoop! <laughs> I want to meet you. That's my thing. <laughs> Are you good? You're okay. Yeah. This is my vlogging camera, right? So I want you to take it. Oh my God. And go over there. Hi guys, we are Lily okay. Singh in the Philippines. I just want to say we love Lily. We love Lily so much. We want to thank Lily, Lily so much. <laughs> Hi. Like you are a boss, like you are powerful. It's 
It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. It should be on everyone's to-do list to be kind and compassionate to one another. And when you leave this room, you've got to promise you are not just going to survive life. You are going to conquer life. Disclaimer, disclaimer, this is gonna be a little bit of a rant, disclaimer. So I just finished my Philippines show. I'm gonna start by saying so loud, so energetic. The show was a little bit different. It was attached to FanFest, so it was free. But you know, I only like to tell you things because they're on my mind. I think we should all evolve and grow as humans. And I wanna be honest with you how I feel. Some parts of today's show were a little tough. I felt super disrespectful. And I'm gonna tell you not to complain, but to tell you that for future shows, I would love if these things didn't happen. And I'm gonna explain why it'll just negatively impact me, but negatively impact you and the entire audience as well. Because the show was free, before the show was starting, there was like 50 wristbands that were not accounted for. And I was like, well, give it to 50 more fans. Like, why? I don't want 50 seats to be empty. That's the first thing about a show being free, is that people just register. It doesn't let people who actually want to come get a chance. So I let 50 people come in and it was full. So that was dope. So I ran out and everyone's really loud and excited. And this was the one show that my friends, Lauren, Alex, and Aaron, them, they could have come because they weren't able to come in LA. So it was the one show they could have came to. And I knew that people were going to be excited. They were there. They were in the back. But I had this thing where I'm like, everyone put your phones away, especially because I have a meet and greet after because I'm meeting every single person. I'm like, enjoy the show. I really like the message of the show. I think it's very worthwhile. And I don't want you to just be recording the whole time because like that's not being present And it's also not great to perform in front of an audience where everyone's just like you see me on a screen every other day I told everyone to put their phones away. No one would listen during the show like the first five minutes People would get up turn their back towards me and start taking pictures of Alex and Lauren and try taking selfies of them I blatantly looked at them and was like, please put your phones away. I'm trying to perform No one would listen to me My friends had to leave which really upset me because that's the one time for them to watch the show I had to get my friends to get out and like it was just a lot of not listening and Here's why, like as a performer, obviously that's not great because I want like to communicate my message. But because of that, I had to cut out so many jokes and segments of my show because people weren't listening. And also the timing was going over of me being like, please be quiet. Can you guys please pay attention? And on top of that, it made the meet and greet run out of time as well. So I couldn't like hug people properly, couldn't get your name properly. It just, everyone got a worse experience because of that. And I was just really, really disappointed about that because it's my vision and it's my show and I want it to be special for every single person there. And I wasn't able to do that today. And that really bummed me out. I think, especially the boss show, I spent a lot of time talking to Aaron and Kyle, his buddy Kyle. You guys really need to see this show. You guys will really enjoy it. Both Lauren and Alex had meet and greets, and then they, they were going to come right before the meet and greets to come watch the show. Everybody was super excited to watch the show because I kept begging it. I'm like, yes, it's wonderful. I mean, even after Fusi saw it, he was telling them how much he loved it, and they were super excited to watch it. And I think everyone just forgets that there's it's not the show's not just Lily. It's about the audience mm -hmm. as well. It's about people interacting, and it's about people giving off wonderful energy and it's about people showing respect unfortunately there wasn't respect in the room today and me watching my really good friend perform and try her best to do an amazing show seeing people not paying attention i saw one girl actually facetiming her friend in the middle of the show so she can show her friend alex and me trying my best not to just get up and tell people to like get out being disrespectful This was the first time where it, on stage I was actually like I need to kick people out and I didn't and part of me was like Maybe I should have because then there were some people that just wanted to enjoy the show But couldn't because other people were not cooperating and so I just can't emphasize this enough I said this once in Dubai for HTY as well that like if you're gonna meet me anyways What's the need for a selfie and to record everything and to not listen like there's so much more to life than that And I just I just really didn't have a really pleasant experience Which is really unfortunate and if you rewind two years ago to at 2 ui you made a video about selfies then too yeah. about just feeling like not feeling like a human being anymore and we have to change that relationship and if that means having less events because these types of events are not allowing us to have the type of experience that we want to have with you guys then that's going to end up being what's going to end up happening because you know what it is, is like traditionally everyone i know this is quite long we'll end this but traditionally everyone that does a book signing just does a signing and here i am being like i want to do a show i want to do this but today i kind of felt like oh, i should just done a signing because they don't even care about what i'm saying right now and that hurts and i don't want that to happen so i'm not livid or anything but i do feel a little bit hurt and i wish that the show went a little bit smoother in that sense a lot of people were really apologetic they were like i'm so sorry that people weren't made me feel like i can't do these types of shows and i should just do music then the next time i come here which we're going to do a fan fest we're, we're going yeah, to do we're, music we're going on stage in two hours here's, here's another thing like we're going to totally go on stage and do a thousand percent here's another reason 
why it made me sad is in this evening show, we were supposed to bring people on stage that made signs and to like be a part of the show. I tweeted about it and everything, being like, make your signs, you can come on stage with us. And I had to cancel that because the staff was like, yo, no one's going to listen. And so that's just 20 people that lost the opportunity to come on stage as well. So it's just really unfortunate that everyone's got to. And we don't want other creators thinking, okay, we can't come to Manila because yeah. Manila has disrespectful fans. Like, you guys are so city. excited and so wonderful. And you'd be so like, I'm not saying don't cheer, cheer, have fun. But when I'm trying to like talk or I'm asking for something, it would be great if there was a little bit of respect is all. Especially with these smaller, more intimate shows so you guys can have a wonderful experience. And then my last thing I'm going to say is that if I've also felt like, oh, this is why I can't do free shows. Because like when people don't pay for a ticket, they're like, we'll just do whatever the F we want to do. That makes me sad. But like if there's no more free shows, this is honestly kind of why. They don't yeah. value the fact that they were in the room. They just like, oh, it's a free thing. I'm going to be here. And then to be honest, after Alex and Lauren left, a lot of people ran out too. Tried to chase them mm -hmm. down for more selfies. And I think that's because I let so many people in that didn't have wristbands. Maybe that was my mistake. But to be honest, even after they left, people were still not listening to me. So it wasn't even because of them. But that's my experience. That's what I want to share with you. I'm still going to go on stage tonight and do 110%. We're going to kill it. Always, always, the fans always. here are still wonderful and beautiful, but just something to keep in mind for future shows. Even still with that said, Manila, you are beautiful You're people. so glad that, like, you're beautiful people. And like, I need to show them this view right now. City. Let me just show you this right now. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Amazing. Mama's tired now. There's an after party, but I don't think we're gonna go. I gotta wake up at five to head to the airport. We have to leave the, the hotel at five, but we all have massages booked right now. So we're gonna go get a team massage, and that sounds a okay with me. Humble, my friend. I'm leaving soon. It was a pleasure and honor to perform with you as always. Thank you. I don't know when I'm gonna see you next. So I'm gonna go back to Ellie. You're not gonna be there. I will not. But thank you, Manila, for being Manila and rhyming with vanilla. And rhyming with vanilla. <laughs> I don't know when Humble's gonna be in the vlogs and well, I guess I'll see you in Toronto in July. Ah, uh, no, you're coming earlier, aren't you? Yes, but the MMV is correct. But you know my schedule better than I do. Let's see how we did today. TikTok with Ellen. I am so tired. I'm about to sleep for like three and a half hours and I cannot wait. We're heading to Hong Kong. Thank you for joining me on today. Challenging shows, different, but still very fun and still showed a lot of love and I really respect and appreciate that. And huge shout outs to people that are in the audience when I perform and they're giving me their energy, they're giving me their presence and presence as in CE, not presence as in gifts. I dig that and I appreciate you all so much. So more of that, more of that. We're heading to Hong Kong tomorrow. It's gonna be lit, fam. Until then, <laughs> if you like it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. <laughs> I'm just saying I gotta come back to Philippines. 
sometime in my life because I have not properly explored. I didn't get to go to a beach. I didn't get to do nothing. I didn't get to try a lot of local foods in this. I need to come back to the Philippines. So if somebody finds some time in my schedule, come back to the Philippines. Just saying. Just saying, take a, take a week off somewhere. Just saying.